Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to add another useful image conversion flow to your arsenal using the Cloudmersive image connector to convert common image formats into PSD format. PSD format is the native format for Adobe Photoshop, which means it's awesome for storing large amounts of data, including several layers of different images or graphical elements. PSD and TIFF are great for editing in Photoshop, and our image connector has you covered for both. Let's get started. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the next page. Here, you'll need to give your flow a name, and then select Manually Trigger a Flow and click Create at the bottom to move on. When you're ready, click New Step on the Flow Design page and start typing Get File Content into the search bar. I'm using SharePoint for this demonstration, so I'm selecting that option below, and next I'm selecting my site address. To get my file, I'm then going to click on the file icon below and follow the folder path to my file's destination. Once you select yours, this step is complete. The next step in the flow is going to involve the Cloudmersive image connector. Click New Step and start typing Cloudmersive into the search bar to bring up a list of Cloudmersive connectors. From that list, select the image connector with the yellow icon. Once selected, you'll need to quickly input your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate the operation. You can get your key by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com, and once you enter in that key here, it'll save for the next use just like mine has. When you're ready, search for PSD in the Actions search bar and select the option to convert images to Photoshop PSD. If you've used the Cloudmersive image connector operation before, you're probably familiar with these parameters by now. Click on the first parameter bar and select the File Content option from the Dynamic Content window to pull the image content we included in the first step. Then, copy and paste the file name from the previous step into the second parameter, and this action is fully configured. You can now click New Step again and type Create File into the search bar. This operation will create the newly converted file and give it a new name and folder path. I'm using SharePoint again, so I'm selecting the option associated with SharePoint and then redefining my site address. To select your file's new folder, click on the folder icon and follow the folder path until you find the right one. Once you select it, you can then move on and give your file a new name with the PSD suffix. Last but not least, click on the file content search bar and select body from the dynamic content window. That will ensure that the file contains the converted image content. Now the flow is complete, so you can click Save at the bottom and begin testing. Click Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select Manually and then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. The flow will take a few seconds to run, and once it runs successfully, you'll see green check marks appear in the upper right corner of each operation. Once you see those check marks, it's time to check your newly converted file in the target folder. As you can see here, I have my newly converted file right next to my demo file. I don't have Photoshop, so I unfortunately can't open it as intended. But, as you can see, this file is in the proper format and ready for use. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.